friend Sophia J and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already or you're new, make sure to subscribe and like the videos. Today, we're going to be looking into measuring. And why not start with the read out loud? How Big is a Lion by William Corsi is what we're going to be reading today. And when we're finished, we're going to have some more practice with measuring with a ruler. This here is the inches side of a ruler. Inches is the unit of measurement that's used in the USA. This is the centimeter side of a ruler. Centimeters is the unit of measurement that's used in most parts of the world. Can you measure the dancing pig? From snout to tail, is this pig big? Hmm, looks like this dog is giving us some advice. To find out the length of the pig, measure the red line. So there's a red line right here. So let's get our ruler. I'm first going to start off by measuring by inches. So I'm going to start off by placing the ruler against the red line. But I'm going to make sure that it doesn't start at the end of the ruler, but it starts with the lines where the zero is. So measuring it all up, it looks like the pig is five and a half inches long because the line ends right at the five and a half mark in between the five and the six. Now let's do centimeters. We're gonna do the same thing. Line it up to the zero and it looks like the pig is 14 centimeters. Let's move on. Can you measure the pink peacock? Is he taller than the croc? So this other purple crocodile is giving us advice. To find out the height of the crocodile, measure the pink line. Let's start with that. So we have our ruler and we're gonna line it up. So starting at the zero, the crocodile is two inches tall. And in centimeters, the crocodile is five centimeters tall. So let's remember that. Now again, I'm gonna start with inches for the peacock. Let's see. Starting at the zero, the peacock is five inches tall. And in centimeters, if we line this up correctly, we figure out that the peacock is 13 inches tall. So that means the peacock is taller than the croc. Hmm. Can you measure the little mouse? Does he fit inside his house? So, following by this dog's instructions, we have to measure the purple line to find out the length of the mouse and the yellow one for the door. And if the mouse is bigger than the door, it can't fit in. So, let's start with the mouse. If I line this up correctly, starting at the zero, it seems like the mouse is four inches long. And in centimeters, he's 10 centimeters long. Now let's measure the door. In inches, the door is three inches long. And the door is also seven and a half centimeters long. Not seven, not eight, but seven and a half. That means the mouse can't fit inside his house. Oh no, hopefully he can get a bigger house. Can you measure the pretty kites? Which is longer, red or white? So we're gonna have to measure the green line for the white kite and the yellow line for the red kite. I think this time I'm gonna actually start with the red kite. So we need to measure it up correctly, not at the end, but at the zero. And the red kite is two inches. But how long is it in centimeters? Well, in centimeters, the red kite is 
five centimeters. Now the white kite. In inches, it looks like the white kite is four and a half inches long because it stops right in the middle of four and five. And in centimeters, the white kite is 11 and a half inches long. Oh, excuse me, 11 and a half centimeters long, meaning that the white kite is longer than the red kite. Next page, ooh, there's a cake. Can you measure the yummy treat? Measure it quick before they eat. Now we just gotta measure this white line. In inches, it is one and a half inches long. And in centimeters, this yummy looking cake is four centimeters long. I gotta say, that cake is impressive. Hey look, it's the lion from the cover. Can you measure the lion's height? Don't you worry, he won't bite. Okay, now we gotta measure this white line again to find out the height of the lion. Starting with inches, I'm gonna line it up, and the lion is three inches tall. And what about in centimeters? This lion is seven and a half centimeters tall. That's a tall lion. Okay, we have one last thing to measure in this book. And that is, wow, look at this pretty heart. Can you measure this heart of mine? Will you be my valentine? Well, of course I'll be your valentine. But first, let's measure the heart. Let's see, let's go with inches first. This heart is pretty big. It's as long as my ruler. Going from start to finish, this heart is six inches long. And in centimeters, it is 15 and a half centimeters long. That is one big heart. Can you measure the world so grand? Doggies, jump ropes, someone's hand? Measure this book or measure your shoe. Then measure yourself. How tall are you? I need your help, mathematicians. Are you up for the challenge? I have some leaves that I need you guys to measure. So, grab a pencil and some paper, and remember to pause the video when the leaves and the ruler come up on screen. Because once you unpause, the answers will be revealed in five seconds. So, what did we learn today, mathematicians? We learned that a ruler has two units of measurement, inches in the USA and centimeters everywhere else. 
We also learned that when you're measuring, you must start at the zero mark and not at the edge of the ruler. And we learned that leaves come in many different shapes and sizes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Goodbye, mathematicians!